Zombie Apocalypse hadn't. Wait. That can't be right. I just got back from the Zombie Walk Toronto. This was the first time I've gotten to go to the Zombie Walk. For the last four, let's say four years or so, I've been hearing about it and wanted to go, but I was always working on Saturdays. So this year is my first time having a day off. I really wanted to check it out. In terms of what I'm wearing, I did want to wear one of my costumes because I have like a closet full of costumes. Of course I'm gonna wear a costume. And I had a couple of options, but I ended up wanting to go with Gabriel. In order to take the look from my usual costume into a little more zombie-y, I wanted to do some much more severe burns. Normally there's like, it's just sort of like a, a sooty burn effect on the costume. So I really wanted to push it into more of a second, third degree burn look. Because I only decided to do this like maybe four or five days ahead of the actual zombie walk. Most of my figuring out what I needed to do was watching YouTube tutorials on how to do special effects makeup. Mad Monster Lab is pretty much my go-to channel for all kinds of special effects stuff. They are really good. But for this burn, I wanted something that which suited the original look a little more. I wanted something slightly crispier. And what I ended up doing was I found an awesome tutorial by Fern's Musings. It's a burn victim for tutorial. The basics are toilet paper and white glue and, and face paint on top of that. So what's on my face is yeah, toilet paper, white glue, black face paint, and red face paint, and fake blood. All that wonderful zombie effects makeup stuff. For my knuckles, and uh, for the burns on my arm, however, I needed something a little stronger than just white glue because the white glue gets very crispy, shall we say? Like it's very stiff, especially for the knuckles. I mean, I need to keep the motion in my hand. So um, this one is done with a lot more spirit glue and almost no white glue involved in that. And with the arm, it's all the edges that are stuck down with the spirit gum and the rest of the central parts are the white glue mix. Unfortunately, this also means with, you know, the stiffness that I can't really move my face and I've been wearing this for so long that it's just, oh, it's bugging me so much. I end up... And I could do that because there was no spirit gum on it. I can move my face now. Let's get this one off too. Uh, Ta-da! Oh, I feel so much better. Just in case you're wondering what a zombie walk is, it's a, a more or less a public event where people are invited to dress up as a zombie and then do a zombie walk around downtown Toronto. I mean, the route tends to change from year to year just depending on logistics and the number of people they have showing up. Last year, according to the website, they had 6,000 zombies. This year, I don't know what the numbers are gonna be, but probably the same, maybe even more. Yeah, so we just wander around downtown. I, I like the idea behind it. Get up, be gross, be disgusting, and I get to play with makeup like this because I don't normally get to do that. It was definitely worth working all this stuff out, learning how to do the makeup and getting my stuff on and being out, but Damn, it was cold. This is a really cold day, especially for wearing this costume. So I was there hanging out with some friends of mine. Uh, Dan the Video Ninja was there, and Andy and Noah and Matt were also hanging out with me. They were all in uh, Umbrella Corps gear. You the peace, Andy? Well, we're just moving these guys along. They've been well fed, it seems. Very docile for the most part. <laughs> It was really cool seeing all the zombies, all the different effects. Some people who, you know, put a little fake blood on their face and other people who just went all completely out. All in all though, I think the weirdest thing that I saw <laughs> was a guy spitting blood all over a girl because she wanted blood splatter all over her and it was, it was terrible. It was horrible. Spitting fake blood on one another is not a good method of distributing blood splatter. It's just not. Would I do it again? Maybe. I had to duck out early because A, I was just so cold and B, I have other things to do today. <laughs> In any case, I think I would go back next year. I might duck out again early next year. I would definitely wear something warmer. I'm normally cold to begin with, so once you put me in an outfit like this and put me outside on October 22nd. It's chilly. I really did have icy hands of death today. I got, oh, I got my knuckles off. Isn't that wonderful looking? I, I don't even know what my face looks like right now. Let's see if I can get this one off. Arrgh. All right. Brain.